Okay. Hello, it's me. I'm making sure that the internet doesn't frick with me and make me not be able to stream. But we seem to be good with this. Okay. It's weird. I'm kind of... Forgive me, I'm kind of... I mean autistic. Can't say the other word anymore, apparently. Just like we can't call gay people. F uh, never mind. Never mind. Uh, we're getting out of. We're getting too political. This is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because, yeah. Uh, I gotta plug you in somewhere so that you can see the kitchen in its entire. Well, most of the kitchen. So that we can cook. I think right here would be a good place. Let's try. Let's just hope that you don't fall over during the recording. And we should be good to go. All right, so what are we doing today? Well. If you haven't read the title of the stream, because I'm guessing nobody actually came to watch the stream live, we are going to be making lasagna. Specifically, uh, this recipe, this uh, <clears throat> no-cook lasagna, um, which is weird because it actually has to go in the oven and the meat that we're putting in it has to be cooked before we can use it. So guess what? Not no cook anymore, but there's two separate bits to this. There is the pan bit and the pan bit. Okay, if that didn't make sense to you, neither did I. I'm just kind of going with what I got here. Um, so, in here will be the final product. Little layer of sauce. We have um, this four cheese pasta sauce. Thin layer in the bottom so these don't stick. So, thin sauce, layer of noodles, a layer of what's going to be in here, um, another layer of noodles, another layer of what's going to be in here, oh, and probably mix it in with some cottage cheese uh, along the way. And then, of course, sprinkle Parmesan cheese on the top. But the noodles aren't going to be cooked at the time. They're still the hard noodles. Which is why the third and final bit in the oven on low for an hour until the, well, on whatever temperature for an hour or so until these from up out the oven, move this, set it here, foil over the top, and my stream will pull up. We all good? Okay. We all good. Um, the, the Twitch is on my computer currently and it popped up in a message. The video download has been canceled on my like, dang you stupid computer, but I think it should be fine. What's going to be in here? This is the other pan part. So what's going to be in here is... Um, other sauce, which is a tomato base sauce. Seasonings like a little bit of garlic, a little bit of pepper, and this Italian seasoning. <laughs> she, she's a 10, but she's an Italian. Yeah, anyway, I don't know if anyone gets that there. And then the other part, of course, is 
Where's the meat? Where's the beef? Ground beef. Half of this container, which is about a, this, there's about a pound and a half in this container. So half of that, you do the math. I'm not, I'm not good at math. Uh, anyway, where we want to start, of course, is getting the meat out of the package and uh, freaking opening the meat package and grabbing half and putting it into our pan. And the thing says download canceled again. I freaking click to reload player. I think it's a problem with my computer that it freaking, you know, it does well with, okay, hold on. I got a dog underneath. Okay, anyway, I think it's a problem with the fact that um, it's using the same Wi-Fi to stream off the computer and to stream from the phone, so it gets sort of confused. Also, what were those hand gestures? It was like... Donald Trump. Anyway. Um, we need a tool for that, actually. This tool. Which is just a little... Mm, 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 you know? You know, like this. You just pump it up and down. I don't know why I'm doing it like that. But yeah, you just... Break the meat up and uh, mix the garlic and pepper and this seasoning in while it cooks. Put the lid on here on top and then um, let it simmer for a little bit and then mix the sauce in. And then, uh, yeah, put it in this pan is essentially what we're working with. So, first things first, my mother said she wanted to save a little bit of this before I use it all in the sauce. So, I'm going to pour some into this container and then we're free to use the rest good now kick this on to medium and uh, well I kind of wish I had a tripod for a phone but um, I guess I'll just have to work with uh, no tripod for my phone. I have a tripod. The problem is it's not, there's no attachment to the top of it that like holds the phone, you know what I'm saying? Like a selfie stick, but for a tripod, what? I don't have one of those. I know they exist, but I don't have one. Um, so, I suppose, what should I do? Move this because it's already starting to steam up. I'll put that over there. Um, the meat's already starting to sizzle. Um, where would be a good place to put this? Here, let me just. I'm gonna unplug from the wall because I have to keep you. I'm gonna try to get a shot of this while I cook, but. Realistically, how would one do so? What if I try this? How's that? You can't see what's in the pan, it doesn't matter. Yeah, 
just break it up like that. Yep, that's what I thought was going to happen. Um, piss. Uh, how about... How about break me and my idea of trying to stream this thing? Um, damn it. Um, what do I do? Um, good question. Back over to the table it is, and you'll just have to look at my back. Well, actually, hold on. Maybe slightly better, but maybe. Oh. Slightly better, but maybe slightly worse. How's, how's that? Too far away? Is this any better? No. Um, if I turn this way, hot when you touch things that are cooking. I didn't know that. Here, I'm kidding. I didn't know that. I'm not that dumb. Alright. Um. Alright, let's try to fix you again. Oh, frick me in the butthole. We're good. I thought the outlet had popped on me. Hmm. Well. I'm going to move a couple of pans here. Try plugging it in. Here. How's this look? Problem is I'm holding it up in the air. Hold on. Let's try. How's that? Go. 
Now I'm going to turn this down a bit. Kind of loud. This may echo a little bit, but I need to be able to hear the quality. Okay, so we should be good to go. You might hear an echo. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Okay. I'm going to kick this back up. Cooking the stream. Yay. Should have been doing this for Facebook, but I don't think anybody will watch it there either, honestly. I might have fallen off. Anyway. Uh, now, what we do, that this is mostly cooked, add the Italian seasoning. Like this. Like that. In a bit, turn this down. Put the lid on. And just kind of let the seed for a few minutes, let the seasonings, you know. And put the rest of the back in the fridge. Now, uh, I'm going to prepare the pan part as opposed to the pan part and immediately start dropping them. Yeah, there's a big echo, I know. Um, This is a four cheese, because here's the other thing. The other thing is tomato basil. This is four cheese. I got it the other day because I thought it was going to be good. Turns out it was. So, I just need to really thin layer. Well, pretty thin layer across the bottom. So that as the noodles bake, they don't become all rubbery on the bottom. You know? Anyway. So something like... Borrow you for a second. Something like this. So, there you go. Now, perfect. 
turn this up a little bit because the sizzling is not quite. The simmering is not. Not quite loud enough simmering. So it needs to be simmering, not just. <laughs> no, I don't think meat coughs like that. Second layer of noodles on the bottom. Quite a while since I've seen the lasagna noodles. Very nice. Now, if I remember correctly. Should be good. Okay. Everything should be cooked. And now Cheese, but with a little bit of water and slap it in before I throw it away. Then the rest of the bottle is needed, according to my mother, and it looks like she's actually right for the for this one, you know. Should be fine. It'll boil out in the oven. Now, what? Uh, three fifty covered three fifty for an hour. So we'll start preheating. There's definitely a lot of water in here, so so here's what I'm gonna do. Turn it up, let it bubble away some of that extra water, and add a little something. You can see if this makes it slightly better. What is it? Um, celery salt. Might have been a bad decision, but recently I've been putting celery salt on a lot of things because it sort of mimics the seasoning Old Bay, which, which I enjoy. And I've been putting on cheese toasties of all places. You know, cheese toasty, uh, grilled cheese sandwiches. If anybody doesn't know what a cheese toasty is, grilled cheese sandwich. All right. So, let that bubble the excess water away for a little bit. Water. 
maybe too much, and down a little. And then add it to the noodles. Sour cream, not sour cream, uh, cottage cheese. Another layer of noodles, another layer of that. With some cottage cheese and then Oh, mozzarella cheese is supposed to go in here as well, I believe. I'll add it after a few minutes. I'll be right back. All right, let's check on it. Of course, I got a dog underfoot. Ooh, there we go, much thicker. Let me turn it down even more to about two, two and a half on the thing. Okay. 
Okay, a little lower. Too bad. Yeah, about two and a half. We don't want it to cook much more. We just kind of want the water to generally evaporate. Of course, I got a dog sitting on the floor behind me like, Give me your food. And I'm like, no. This is my food. This seems about right. I'm going to go ahead and kick that off. I'm going to read the instructions just so I don't mess it up and do something weird. Either the mozzarella got sprinkles on top or gets put in there after reading to see which one. So, according to this, we want the thin layer of sauce, the noodles, then the cottage cheese, then this. So, put a little, little bit, not so much, because we need a little bit more. On the top. On the top. Yeah. There's nothing there for one more good layer. Just barely. But... Shut up, oven. Anyway. To say then cheese, cottage cheese, then the, che then the mozzarella cheese, okay. Okay, not a lot, not a lot, guys. Just a good amount. said not to use the entirety of this two pound bag of mozzarella cheese, so we're gonna use about 1.95 and leave some so we can say we didn't use all of it. It was already open, so there's probably not even two pounds in there left, so I'm just joking, you know. So now I guess you pour a little bit in. Perfect. Now, another layer of noodle. Okay. Layer. The last 
last of the cottage cheese. Mozzarella cheese. More mozzarella cheese and a little bit of thick I would say a little thicker of a layer this time just slightly thicker not so much thicker that you know I don't want my mom mom coming home looking at what's left in the bag of the cheese and be like how much is And now the rest of the sauce. All right, now the rest of the sauce. The, la the rest of the lamb sauce. The, la the rest of the lamb sauce. Where's the lamb sauce? Some good so far. And the farmer John on top. Here's the final, well not final product, it still needs to be in the oven for an hour. doesn't bubble over in the fridge or I mean nothing I mean frick there's a pain Kitchen timer, 60 minutes. Covered and then 10 minutes uncovered. So we'll be, the stream will be back then or not. We'll